The internet as a useful tool also has a wide spectrum of issues, including policy, governance, technology and development. To help battle the listed issues and many other more is an organization called Internet Society. Over the years, they've established and promoted principles that have persuaded governments to make decisions that are right for their citizens and their nation's future. The good aspect of it is you can be a part and help make this possible. For today's episode, we are talking about the Internet Society. I have with me a guest who has been a part of the movement and has a lot to share. I will allow her to introduce herself and tell us more. Hello everyone, my name is Lily Edina Mboche and I am a believer in open spaces and communities. And as such, I am part of the Internet Society. Today, I'll tell you more about it. Okay, so Edna, um, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for honoring um, my invitation and then, um, you know, going to talk to us more about the Internet Society. So, so um, diving right into it, first of all, I'd like you to tell us a brief, uh, give us a brief information about the uh, Internet Society. Okay, the Internet Society is, uh, popularly known as ISOC or the acronym is ISOC. Okay. So what Internet Society does is to promote leadership in areas of internet studies, mm -hmm. internet standards, education, and basically everything on emerging technologies and how people can collectively shape the internet. So they run by the mantra, an internet for all and by all. That's oh. to say that nobody owns the internet or everybody owns the internet. Okay. So everybody can actually work or come together to contribute to building it. So this has been in existence since sometime around 1992. Okay. And it has chapters um, spread across everywhere in the world. Okay. So you could have people coming together and feeling more part of it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So how do the Internet um, Society work? How, how do they work? Okay, so the Internet Society uses a bottom up approach. In fact, you have people, because you know that nobody owns the internet, what we do is to have a multi-stakeholder approach to issues in the internet society. When I say multi-stakeholder, it means that there are various or different sectors that come together to play in working to make the internet society work. Yeah. So you have people who are um, part of a group called the civil society group. So anybody who has interest in public policy, policy is part of the um, civil society group. Okay. Anybody who has technical skills and can actually contribute to the core of building the internet will be part of a group called the technical community. And we understand that we cannot do all this without riding on governments in countries. Yeah. So you have governmental agencies also part. Then you have people called the private sector. Now the world runs on private entities, right? Okay. So you have people who also bring competition to the sphere. So those groups are there. So wherever you are, there are these different different groups and sectors where you can actually play together to contribute to the internet. Okay, okay. That's, that sounds like an interesting one. Very interesting. So over the years, Internet Society has been around. What are some of the things that they've been able to do or you've been able to do as Internet Society? Okay. I think I should go back as far back as when I was in level 200 in KNUST. In fact, that was my first contact with okay. the Internet Society yeah. where they launched a caucus in KNUST. USD. And the very first time they came to campus, they did start, they did um, um, conferences and they organized a forum on how to um, um, actually crack or or hack into very simple passwords. This was why oh. they wanted us to know how weak uh, people had passwords on campus okay. and how people use only even dictionary words. So that, that was not the Internet Society at play, but that was a chapter on campus made up of young people who are running with an idea of building the internet, trying to point out to the security aspects of the internet. Okay. Okay. So we used a software at that time called John the Ripper, and we were able to break as far as 66,000 plus passwords. Wow. And some people had, yes, and some people had only their first names. So imagine wow. somebody actually can break this and actually enter into, to see things that you think are private, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. from there, we had afterwards, we had a lecture on cyber security and many others. So that was the first one. So aside um, actually running on policies and running dialogues or deliberations on what should be seen on the internet, there are decentralized bodies like this on campuses and countries which encourages you to actually find anywhere or any topic on the internet which is related to you and get talking. So if you are in Sudan, you had a recent internet shutdown, you can start the, through the Internet Society, you can start a campaign even okay. online, get people to rally around you and let people know about what's uh, happening, where, what's happening yeah. and where to start and what you're actually looking for. 
You understand? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, so would you say that uh, because of the hacking thing sometime back on campus, that was actually what made you join there? Yeah, I found it very fascinating. Until then, I would have readily gone for my first name as my as my password or even my nickname. Oh. You understand? So means now you said complicated passwords. Very complicated ones. Okay. Sometimes it feels like a sentence. Okay. So, so how long have you been a part of Internet Society? Okay, so I mentioned in twenty in, in when I was a second year in school when I first encountered them. So how that long? was in, that was in twenty fourteen. But I signed up as a global member okay. sometime around twenty seventeen. Okay. Yes, please. So, so that's been two years. So what do you personally do in the Internet Society? Okay, thankfully or um, let's say fortunately I got selected to be a youth an Internet Society youth fellow in France, Paris in 2018. Okay. And that's where that was actually like a, a good platform to actually start experimenting and getting to talk more internet. Yeah. So from the, at, at Internet at France we a group of us began something called the Global Repository for Internet Studies where we wanted to break the technicality of uh, internet and, yeah, exactly yeah. to make it very simple using yeah. infographics, using audio, using videos, okay. something relatable and even in different languages. Aside that I've been also lucky to coordinate the meeting edition of the Internet Governance Forum okay. which happened in July this year okay. and it was a pre-event to the main IGF and thankfully I also served on the committee of the West African Youth Internet Governance Forum wow. and now I'm also part of the organize, organizing committee for the African Youth Internet Governance Forum which is happening from the 9th to 10th of September next, and that's next month in Chad so we'll, we'll take the information we've taken from here we've got it from here to Chad hear from other people in the world okay. and just get more youth involved. That's what's going to happen next month in Chad. Wow. So what has been some of the benefits that you have that you personally let's say, enjoyed being a part of Internet Society? Okay. So everybody, everybody knows that um, now where the world is going to yeah. is it's an, it's, it's a, it's a form, it's, it's essential that everybody creates a network, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's because no one person is a sole repository of wisdom. Yeah. You may need expertise in some in some areas that you, you may not have. Yeah. You may need ideas, or you may need somebody to help you shape an idea. And all this, if you know people, or you're able to re say, okay, I need this, and somebody recommends somebody, yeah. and it's, it's good. So what Internet Society has done for me first is to help me create a good network. Okay. Beginning this interview, I was speaking to somebody who said she had just written a paper on AI. And okay. I'm excited to read it because she's all the way in Brazil. Mm -hmm. I want to know what it feels like thinking AI from Brazil, Brazil you yeah. understand? Yeah. Aside that the opportunities to learn at conferences, even pre uh, present also at conferences yeah. and get to serve too, which is very essential. You add to your portfolio, you add to your credentials, you build many other skills doing all these things. So you find it as a learning opportunity and also a way to give back to society. And that's the essence of community. Wow. Wow, that's that's great. I'm sure there's a lot you can actually share a on lot. internet society. Yeah, I think I guess, have, I guess I guess I guess that's a better one. You guess. may not have all the time to talk about it. Yeah. So most people watching this video may probably be interested in how they can be a part of internet society. So yeah. how do others become a part of internet society? Okay, so just search internet society. It takes you to the page and there's an option to join a chapter or become a member. Okay. So you can join, you can be in Ghana and be a member of Internet Society Chad. Okay. Many. Some, you pay dues and some, but they'll let you know the dues are attached. Okay. And you, you can just be a member of Internet Society in, in any part of the world. And there are, there are groups in Internet Society called special interest groups. And the interesting part is that you can create your own special interest okay. group. Okay. So there's an inter a special interest group for women. So mm -hmm. rallying behind other women to talk more with women issues. Yeah. There's a special interest group for IoT. Okay. There's a special interest group for um, AI. AI youth. Okay. So if you see any topic that you think that's not been um, discussed, right. Okay. right, you can start it. Okay. So if you just, just search Internet Society, become a member, and you are open to all the opportunities. And it does, the opportunities don't come to you, you have you to have seek search. them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So find out, apply to them, and I mean, join the mailing list, get emails, con um, contribute to threads. Mm -hmm. If you have an idea about something, just share. put it on there, yeah. share, and you get people also contributing to it. And okay. that's how we do it. Anyway, to, we want to bring this video to an end, and uh, I want to know if you have any final words you probably want to share with people who wants to be a part of Internet Society. I know you are actually part of a lot of these online societies, we can't talk about oh, them oh, no, yeah. now. But uh, so if there's anything you want to wrap up with with the Internet Society. Okay, so like you said, there are many opportunities out there. 
position yourself strategically to grab them. Ask friends. If you see somebody is being congratulated for something, yeah. ask how yeah. and be willing to learn. Now to join the Internet Society, search Internet Society and you could in fact join the Ghana chapter and get become a part of us, the Ghana Youth IGF. And now we are taking applications for <clears throat> the Africa Youth IGF which is coming on um coming up next month. So you could just search um why why IGF ayigf.org and you can register there and you can join us next month in charge thank you okay so um thank you very much Lily, for honoring my invitation to talking to us about the internet society so guys i guess you've heard for yourself just like i was saying there are lots of tons of online opportunities out there that you can be a part of you just have to try your possible best to search learn more and then see what you can either contribute to it or you know learn from it so that's just about it for this video if you are new to this channel all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so thank you very much for watching uh, I guess you get to sign out. Yeah. Bye. Bye and subscribe and like, like. <laughs>